He wants to get down. Hey, my beautiful nominal people. Welcome to the tribe. Hey, remember I told you how you guys can manifest anything that you want to manifest? Um, don't put them down, Poppy. He wants to get can down. Can you pick up our fur, baby? <laughs> so check this out. I've been wanting a puppy for like forever. How long? How many years, Michael? Uh, three, four. Three, four, five, six years. Anyway, my phenomenal, uh, awesome husband. Look at him holding our fur baby. Me, Prince, if you haven't already. So, hubby did not want me to have a puppy. He wanted a big dog. And he said, never, no, not ever. And, right, Poppy? <laughs> Moving closer. Don't be scared. Y'all moving closer. So, so what I did was I manifested that I wanted this baby. And what I did was I started buying items that I wanted for him. And I, he was like, if you want a Yorkie, that small dog, um, you're going to have to buy it yourself. So I was like, cool, no problem. So I manifested the money. But my husband, the loving, phenomenal man that he is, he gave me us prints for my birthday gift and, and, and wedding anniversary. He, he cost a pretty penny. It was not cheap, but it was worth it. He's a he's thoroughbred and he's such a loving baby. He brings so much love and joy to our household. He's great for PTSD and he just brings joy to our household because we're empty nesters. And what I'm saying is nothing you can't accomplish if you put your mind to it. Remember that. So what I did was I started preparing for this fur baby and had not had never met him. Ran into many scammers. Um, I did my research, and when my husband knew that I was certain about the puppy we were gonna get, I took pictures of him, met with the breeder, and sent him pictures of him, and we instantly fell in love with him. And how the universe, how phenomenal the universe is, is that I had already picked out a name for him. And when I spoke to the breeder. Um, the breeder said, well, what are you going to name him? And I said, Prince. And she says, oh, my God, his father's name is Prince. You hear, you hear that? <laughs> That's the universe. You hear the bell on your phone? Mm -hmm. So I just want to say, guys, there's nothing you can't manifest in your life when you put your mind to it. And, Michael, how, how much were you against us getting a small dog? Very much. <laughs> what did you say? What do you keep saying to me every day? I can't believe that we have a small dog. <laughs> Another child. Manifestation. Put your mind to it. I bought, I had already bought his house. Michael even got a cage from a friend of ours, a huge cage for him. Um, I bought all his food and everything we both did. We bought stuff for him prior to him getting here. Because I was manifesting. I was determined. I, it was like baking a cake. Like, you know when you're going to bake a cake and you put the ingredients together? And you put the ingredients together and you know that cake is going to form to what you want and you're going to put the icing on it. So I had already purchased his, his um, bed and his pads and everything, food, spray, everything I needed for him. And then when he arrived and Michael just went to the store with bananas and brought him everything that he needed as well. And this dog has more food and clothes and oh, he has a vest too. He has a red night vest. He has a Hawaiian shirt. He's got a crown. I just bought him a, four, a motorcycle helmet to ride with us on the bike. So he's spoiled and he brings so much love and joy into our home. So remember, there's nothing you can't accomplish when you put your mind to it. Just start making the plans. Don't worry about how it's going to happen. Just know it's going to happen. Okay? I love you guys so much. You have anything you want to say, Poppy? Peace. Peace, love, and happiness and joy to you guys. I say, I say, I say. Dawn Spear, peace out. Bye, guys. Love you.